High school is a different experience for everyone, but it was definitely a roller coaster for most of us. It has been the best and worst years of my life up until this point. But all I'm going to say is, your experience will be what you make of it. I could say so many things I learned about school, but the most important things were not about school. In the next few minutes, you'll learn what I've learned in the last four years of my life. One of the most important things I learned to do is to love myself. I was often critical of myself, and many times those criticisms were negative put-downs. But slowly, they became positive self-reflection for improvements for things that are necessary. Part of learning how to be more kind to yourself was also learning to not care about what others thought about you or your actions. I learned that time is so precious and that it goes by faster the older you get. Time is one of the only things you can't buy or get back. So why spend so much time sweating the small stuff? Why waste time and energy on things you can't change or what others have to say or think about you? Not caring what others think about you is probably one of the most empowering things ever. Learning how to love yourself isn't always easy, but once you start to practice self-love, you start to believe in yourself and your greater possibilities and potential. I started to believe in myself, my capabilities, my goals, and my dreams. The second thing I learned is something I didn't see coming at all. People come into your life for a reason or a lesson. Most of them aren't meant to stay in your life forever. Each and every one of them teaches you something valuable. People come in and out of your life, and it's natural to grow apart from each other. It's always hard to let people go and forget about them, but if it helps, don't forget all the happy and good memories you had with them. Someone once said, don't allow someone to come back into your life just because you have history together. If your relationship went from something beautiful to chaos, let it go. Except the past will never be the future. Stop going back to what your heart is trying to heal from. And lastly, Someone also said, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. And finally, the hardest thing I had to learn is that everything will be fine in the end. If I could go back in time, I would tell myself, when things get hard and you're hurting, they're just growing pains. At the end of the day, you'll be stronger for it. Each obstacle builds you up for the next challenge. It's just like working out at the gym. You have to push yourself and struggle through your exercises in order to build muscle. You get sore after working out because you just ripped muscle fibers. Muscle fibers that will eventually repair itself to be stronger. You have to be broken down to be built back up again. Stronger than before. I learned to accept that pain was part of the process of growing. And I also learned that accepting change and not resisting to it is vital to personal development and being successful in anything. What I'm trying to say is, it's okay to be broken for a while, because your broken pieces fall into something better and more beautiful. In retrospect, I did struggle bus a lot in high school. But it was the most amazing struggle was because I had the most amazing friends on this crazy ride with me who had my back. We made the most amazing memories together. We laughed and cried together. I'm lucky enough to be walking out of high school with the same people I walked in with. We made it to the end with a few battle scars, but I couldn't have done it without you. I learned so many valuable things that enabled me to take charge of my own life. It's bittersweet that this chapter is coming to an end, but I wouldn't do it any differently. Thank you all for being a part of this beautiful journey.